What's up guys, Jason here, back at it again with another video. And for today's video, guys, as you can see here, we have here yet another yellow box. And what does yellow boxes means? Of course, it's from Realme. And what I have here is the Realme 6 Pro. I know you guys may be shocked as Realme just announced their 6i about two weeks ago. And yet, here we are again with another smartphone from the Realme 6 series. And this time, we have the big brother of the 6i, the Realme 6 Pro. And besides unboxing this phone, for today's video, we will also talk about the four things I like about the Realme 6 Pro and maybe some things that I don't like about it. Without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. Upon opening the box, we have here another box that Realme always includes with a greeting. Hey, welcome to the Realme family. And inside that, we have the paperwork and of course, the jelly case. But I can't seem to find the SIM ejector tool. Maybe it's under the box and who knows, maybe Realme misplaced it. Next up is the phone itself, but let's set this aside for now. A USB Type-C cable and our 30 watt book flash charger. And under the box we have the SIM ejector tool. And of course, this is Mary's favorite thing right out of the box. Wow, this looks amazing. What I have here is the Lightning Blue variant, which has 8 gigs of RAM with 128 gigs of internal storage. And Mary has the Lightning Red variant. For me, I like the Lightning Blue better because it looks more shocking and is more name appropriate because Lightning is blue. But yeah, I'm just justifying my choice of color because Mary keeps on insisting that she has the better color. But as you can see, I got the better one. Honestly guys, Realme has been one of the most competitive brands this past few months. If you guys notice, every release, Realme always sells out their phones. And it shows that Realme has become the first choice of most Filipinos. Okay, let me give you guys my first impressions of the Realme 6 Pro. Out of the box, it already gave me a premium look and feel. And that may be because that when I first touched this phone, it felt like it was glass. And yes, it is actually made out of glass. The front and back is protected by Corning's Gorilla Glass 5, which is really good, especially if you don't want to put a case on it, because look at how gorgeous this phone is. I probably won't put the jelly case on just to flex off this look. At the side, you'll see here a power button which also functions as your fingerprint scanner. And at the left, you have the volume rockers. At the top, you have a secondary microphone. And at the bottom, you have, good news guys, a 3.5mm audio jack, a USB Type-C port, and the single firing bottom speaker. At the back, there is the quad camera setup. And at the front, you'll see the dual punch hole camera. The dual punch hole camera contains a 16 megapixel f2.1 aperture for the main sensor and an 8 megapixel f2.2 aperture aperture wide camera which is really good for group selfies and for the rear camera you have a quad camera setup which has a 64 megapixel f 1.8 aperture wide camera a 12 megapixel f 2.5 aperture telephoto lens which has two times optical zoom an 8 megapixel f 2.3 aperture ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel f 2.4 macro lens now let's proceed with the four things i like about the realme 6 pro first and foremost is is of course the bright 90 hertz IPS LCD display. Although it wasn't the Realme 6 Pro who first brought us the 90 hertz display, it is really nice to see one on this phone. Scrolling through content and social media does feel smoother. Though we do not have an OLED screen here, the display can get fairly bright and you can still see the screen when on bright sunny days. The next thing that I like about this phone is of course its glass back. As you all know with the previous Realme phones, they are all made out of plastic which does kind of give you a cheap feel but with this phone they got it right and it is protected with Corning's Gorilla Glass 5 which should give you a sturdy phone and one of my main issues about the Realme 5 Pro which has a plastic back is it does get scratched easily but now the Realme 6 Pro did not only improve that but they went all out with the design I mean just look at this guys it is a gorgeous phone now the third thing that I like about this smartphone is a higher battery capacity with 30 watts fast charging. One thing that I have always liked about Realme phones is their charging solution. Realme has been generous enough in bundling a VOOC Pass charger in this phone. Not only does the Realme 6 Pro have a higher capacity of 4300 mAh battery, but we now get a 30 watt VOOC 4.0 flash charger that charges it from 0 to 100 
in about an hour but we have yet to try that in my full review coming up in the next few days and the last thing that i like about this phone is it includes a two times optical telephoto lens honestly i have never been a fan of increasing number of camera modules at the back especially brands only use more cameras as a marketing scheme but with a telephoto lens this is actually pretty useful. Thankfully, there is no dedicated 2 megapixel depth sensor here. And that has been replaced by a far more useful 12 megapixel telephoto lens that is capable up to 2 times optical zoom. Speaking of cameras, the next clip will show you some few sample pictures that I took using the Realme 6 Pro. Now all of you know that there isn't really a perfect phone. And that's why I'll tell you what I didn't like about the Realme 6 Pro. First is the phone feels bulky. I know some of you guys associate weight with premium feel, but that really isn't the case for me. If you guys notice that these days, phones do seem to be getting bigger and bulkier. And the Realme 6 Pro joins that bandwagon with a large 6.6 inch screen and it weighs close to 200 grams, which is pretty heavy. And that's not just on paper, it actually translates to real life. Just think, when you're laying in bed and this phone smacks your head, I wouldn't want that to happen. But then again, a larger screen means that this phone is going to have an enjoyable viewing experience. The next thing that I didn't like about this phone is the dual punch hole camera. I know this is kind of subjective, but it's only for me guys because Mary, on the other hand, really likes punch hole designs. So yes, it is subjective and beauty is in the eye of its beholder. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think a small notch at the top of the screen will be a much better option. And the last thing that I didn't like about the Realme 6 Pro is I don't know the price yet. I mean, look at this beautiful phone. They'll send it to you, but they won't give the price yet. So, I mean, come on, Realme, give us the price. I need to know how much this phone costs. Kidding aside, I know Realme is full of surprises, so it's really gonna be worth the wait. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys are looking forward to the full review of the Realme 6 Pro. Again, it's me, Jason. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.